Turning now to Hardy County, people there are dealing with devastating flooding that has left some roads impassable and continues that unfortunate power outage. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell found out how people are managing the recovery process. In hard hit Hardy County. We're alive, so that's really all that matters. People like Elsa Leal are taking the recovery from Hurricane Ian day by day. Really, there's nothing you can say. It's it's heart wrenching to see those people, you know, lose everything, you know. The storm left behind extensive damage. Local officials said measurements of upwards of 18 inches of rain fell, causing widespread flooding and raising flood waters on the Peace River to more than 27 feet, past the record set in 1933 of 25 feet. In Wachula, you can see the devastation in plain sight. The line on this home illustrating just how high the water got. On Sunday, officials said power outages continue to affect the county, with 55% of residents still without power. It's been really hard to imagine that. I mean, it's something we don't imagine to ever happen, let alone at this, at this, at this state for sure. The Florida National Guard helped hand out resources at a food and water distribution site. Car after car, family after family, waiting their turn. Wherever we can get the extra help, you know, that's what we're, what we're coming together here for. Though through it all, families recognize they'll bounce back. We can get through this. Um, this community is very tight, so I mean, everybody's helping everybody, so we'll get there. In Hardy County. Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.